M0FXP, welcome to my videos on the Quantum Spectrum M3 Plus. This is the new model, has the latest firmware and the extra USB-C. We've got the G90 here, but of course, it's also designed to work with the KX3. Hundreds of other transceivers. It's also a full general coverage receiver. And I'll read what it says. It says Quantum Spectrum DSP M3 Plus with RF. IF and IQ input 1.5 megahertz to 160 megahertz all mode coverage. So although it will connect and you're going to see this screen, it also works independently as a standalone receiver. That's fantastic. So it did come very well packaged. I have already opened this, so there was a lot more packaging than what, you, than what you are seeing here. So with the G90 version, we've got two TRS cables here. So it gets everything out of the box. There's also an 8-pin, I think I think it's a Yesu style to TRS connector there. I know it's a bit of a handful. Of course, one year's warranty. Return to base warranty, uh, which is handy. And you get this really nice bag as well. Nice quality bag. Yeah, whoever makes them does a very nice job. And then let's look at the actual device which is here, and I noticed there's also a power cable, but this will actually turn on using your USB-C, and then the new M3 Plus model has an extra USB-C. There's your normal DC input, Very, it's the common size that we always use all of the time. And you'll see that if you look on this side, try and get it to focus, you've got hosts, so you can plug in your keyboard, your mouse, you've got PC, then cat connection, IQ connection. And whilst we're here, I will just quickly connect that. So the cat comes from the bottom connector here, and we're gonna plug that straight into where it says cat, like so. And then the, on the back of the Zygu, you've got the pink, cable, pink connector, which I'm gonna show you, uh, which plugs into the IQ and it's marked IQ on both devices. So you're literally ready to go once you've got that. Make sure you push them in, but don't, you know, take it easy. You don't want to break any connectors. There's your, your input there, you know, your, sorry, your DC input, seven to 17 volts, it says. And I'll quickly show you this side. You've got extension, 3.5 jack there, debug and SMA connector and it will actually although you can get you there is a stand for it which I'm going to show you um, it will sit flat it does have a flat bottom there which is very handy and there's your connector on the back as well and you can see there's an ACC there one two three four five six seven eight pin so it looks like that will connect to you know that, that extra connector that you saw is going to be useful and we'll be testing that as well here's the stand and we'll just plonk it on the stand here, like so. Let's get our power in. And this is, I am powering it for the first time with with you. So, uh, it, you know, wish me luck. So there it goes, powering it on. Of course, it's touch screen. I know I should have said that. Very bright. We'll let it come to life and then we'll see if we can just dim this down a bit. Wow, that looks lovely. And notice that straight away it's connected. You get a supplied stylus here, which sort of slips in the top. Okay, sort of slips in there, like so. So you've got a nice handy place to keep that. Oh, look, and I even stand it in at the, at the top there as well, so you don't, if you're using it quickly. And then of course it's touch screen, it's touch screen, and you'll see the frequency changing on my G90 there. It has got the offset set, I've just turned that off. So let's just turn up. I'm not really sure of the conditions. Uh, we're using the speaker that is in the actual G90 at the moment. But that, like I said, there is a 3.5 jack. But hey, we just want to play around with this for a while. It's just an unboxing, really. And then we'll be doing more videos to, um, you know, to look at the different, the different features that you've got. And of course, you can touch like that. And then you're going to... Go like so, it moves across, look. The little flat line here, it moves across, and then you go up and down. And uh, yeah, there is a knack to this. And remember, I've only used it once, which is now. And you can zero off the frequency there just by, just by tapping it. And then we hit band here, and we'll go 40. Looking forward to using this in the morning. And another one that's 
I've been see some of the settings are different than what I'm used to because I'm used to using the other M3. I'm just going to hit balance. It goes like that, but better to have the balance on, I believe. Like so. Now let's just tap the menu. Now the menu has been improved vastly because you're you're getting a lot more hints. You're getting instructions as you use the menu. It's telling you swipe up or down in one of the three blue zones to adjust the menu etc so i, I want to practice that so, so please don't watch this video thinking i am the expert on using this you know this screen because i need to practice yeah um so i'm still going to do it though so let's just go oh yeah you can see the adcs go in there see it moving up and let's do this and that's going to move it along here. Let's go to the to the config one, and then we'll do one down. Look at that; it opens it up, one up. It's definitely easier knowing having this extra help up. So you have to hide it, and all these settings are in. And you'll see there; I've got my Zygu G90 in board right. And uh, to change this to general receiver, you just change it. it says IF and RF enable. You enable that, and you swap some pins at the back. I don't want to do any of that in this video, to be honest. I just want to go like that. Go up, go up. And then just to save, you hold. If you make any changes, I believe that um, it goes red, I think. But it's been a while, so just go save for now. And then exit. Bounds. And let's have a look at the V dial. So you get this sort of giant dial... See it? And you turn it like a circle. Do you see it? That's more fine it's going at the moment. And then you've got the bigger one. And again, I, I need to practice. You know, I need to practice on this V dial. And uh, I think you've got fast as well. Just here. I've got A and B band I've just done there. So fast. And that's going to go faster. There. That's better. So I don't think you have to be underneath it. I think you can literally just do a circle on the screen. And get the balance back on. That's better. Like so. You've got your n lots of noise reduction settings as well. Wow. I like the colours, Rob. Look at that. Averaging spectrum, it says. And the funny thing is, you don't need a radio to do any of this. You can do it as a standalone device. Eventually, the new firmware is going to also have FTA on screen. I've seen a test video. I put all the links in to purchase this and all the links as well for Rob's website, which is Quantum Spectrum, the Facebook group. Got lots of videos there that Rob's made. What we got here? SSB, so we can change that let's come out of v dial oh, i haven't locked anything there you go do you see that oh it decodes as well on screen there it is there cw of course bpsk ssb rtty adc attenuation settings there and then you've got an amp here and memories. I've never even seen that before. I don't think I have anyway. Wow. Memories. So we'll be learning how to do the memories. Uh, noise reduction there. What's that? You've got the date and time at the very top. And you move, like I said, you move that line along. And like I said, I need to practice. It's been a while since I've used this. Let's go band. It'll take me back there. And then swipe along. Look for the signals and tap them. And we need to be, <laughs> we're on AM. There you are. Move along. I mean, it's not the best conditions at the moment. 
and then my daughter's here. You can bet that she's got all her LED lights on. So I think that's it for now. I'm gonna do lots more videos. A and B, split, you've got slip tune there, which means you sort of do this. Slip tune. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything on this first video. RIT. Thanks for watching. Lots more videos to come. But I am very impressed with the new... This new system. And if you've already got an M3, there is some new firmware coming out, I believe, um, in the new year. Bye for now. 7.3. All the best.